Today I decided to make some really good food. Sometimes I make food. Today we're going to have chicken, bacon, sandwiches. Well, one of them. First thing with making bacon, a lot of people make it in a pan, but no, I don't make bacon in a pan. I cook bacon in the oven. 400 degrees on a flat pan like this. Next we have the chicken, we're only going to be cooking one of them, but we're going to be pan grilling it, just like Wendy's does. Now for our spice rub, I've got a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of olive oil, um, let's see what else, what else did I put in here? That's about it, garlic, onion, olive oil, oh, sea salt, black pepper. Beautiful. So now the bacon has been in for about 10 minutes. Let's take a look and see how it looks. Ooh, that's cooking nicely. Got a little bit more to go. Alright, bacon should be done now. Oh yes, the bacon is perfectly done. Actually, another 30 seconds on the left side is needed. It looks like I cooked uh, a slice together. <laughs> I didn't separate them all properly. Alright, now the bacon should be done. Look at that beautiful bacon. Is that just perfect to cook bacon or what? I need to flip the chicken. Ooh, that's a grilled chicken. I don't have any paper towels, but who needs paper towels? They're wasteful. Well, this side got done a little too much. Still perfect bacon. You have to use a spatula to loosen it, otherwise they'll rip all to pieces. And this last piece, I think I'm going to put back in the oven. Now we can use the tongs. Yeah, these last two pieces are going back in. Because I forgot to separate that one. And that is how you cook perfect bacon. Mm. Perfect, perfect bacon. I've got a special Yukon gold potato bread. Unfortunately, the toaster is broken. It will have to do without. Chicken breast is very nicely finished. Look at that. Juicy. Delicious.
knife is not quite sharp enough. Cooked to perfection. Look at that. That's gonna be very tasty.